Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tara, a farmer from Northern California, and this channel is mainly about farming, but sometimes it's not. So mama hatched her eggs. She got eight babies, and I just had to show you guys, the babies learned how to use the adult waters I have. This is the first time I've seen them do it. They just all hopped up there on their own. And I just think it's the cutest thing. Hi, babies. That's their mama right there. She's like, whoa, whoa, too close. Sorry, just had to show everyone their skills. So I have been dealing with an egg eater. Um, I've locked up a couple girls. It is so hard to break an egg eater. People have all different theories to try, but in the end, a lot of the time they have to be soup, okay? So let's see what the damage is today. Oh, are you currently eating an egg right now? Oh, she's pissed. You're caught red-handed, ma'am. So the problem is, is normally once one starts, they all start doing it. That's the biggest issue. But I can see there must have been an egg up here. I can tell it's pretty obvious there was an egg there. Okay, I'll be back when she's done screaming at me. Thank you. Ma'am, can you please get it together? Thank you, ma'am. I'll take that before you try to eat it. Fresh out the oven. She is still screaming in there. She's pissed. So I've been trying to collect eggs more often to try to prevent them from being eaten. I thought I would take you guys out to the vineyard today. It is June 9th, so I just wanna show you guys what is happening in the vineyard this time of year. You guys saw in my last video, we ran the performer. We only ended up needing to do one pass. It's beautiful out here. I'm happy with how everything is looking. So we're kind of in a waiting game now, but there is always something exciting going on out here. So we just wrapped up Bloom in the vineyard, but this guy's just a tiny bit behind. So it's a good example. This is kind of what the grapes look like when they are going through Bloom. These little white guys pollinate into the center and then we start getting the berries forming. So we are actually in more of the fruit set stage. Like I said, that one was just a little bit behind. So I'm gonna show you guys what the little baby grapes look like. So here we have the grapes really starting to form. And something good to note is that it doesn't matter whether it's white wine or red wine, all of the grapes are gonna start out as these hard green berries. And it won't be until later down the road that they start to change color. And you'll notice which ones are gonna be going into white wine and which will be going into red. So there's your little vineyard lesson for today. So I actually just got back from a little family day with AJ and Waylon, but it is a Sunday, so I have to dust tonight, unfortunately. And we noticed there was a hydraulic leak on my duster right there. So you can see it is leaking really bad. Um, it's coming out of this one here. So what I'm gonna do, hopefully for tonight, my dad changed an O-ring, didn't fix the problem. I'm going to change the hoses to the other set, see if that allows me to run it tonight. And I'm gonna call the dealership in the morning and see if I can get the parts to get that fixed. And hopefully it'll be an easy fix. We just don't have the parts on hand. All right, I got those changed. Let's go test that out. And then I need to check my hydraulic oil cause I have a feeling it's low. Cup holder is still good. I really love the one with the phone holder. All right, let's go check out those hydraulic hoses. So dust smells really bad and it burns your eyes. I'm actually kind of sucks that I'm in non-work clothes, um, but that's why I'm not gonna do it right here in our yard. So I'm gonna just drive out to the field and that's where I'll test it out and hopefully it'll be good to go for tonight. All right, we'll turn the PTO on. And then I normally do this one, so we're gonna try this one out. No, 
doesn't stick. That's the problem. Shoot. Not gonna work. All right, it does not work. Um, the hydraulics work, but only while I'm holding it, holding the controller, and I need the controller to stick. That way it stays blowing it out while I'm driving. So hopefully we can get the part tomorrow and I'll only be one day late on dusting. We'll see. Otherwise I'm gonna have to call someone to do it for me. All right, I had the service department out today and they got it all fixed. You can see it's all shiny and new. So it was leaking back here and my dad definitely could have fixed it. But as you can see, this had to come off and my dad just doesn't have the time, guys. And I know the reality is I should be learning how to do it myself, but I had Waylon today and I just wanted to get it fixed. So I had the service guys come out. It's fixed and ready to go. I don't know, not too big. Well, I don't have enough dirt there for you to finish it partly. Why? You going to drive? Show mommy how you drive. You want me to close the door? What? Okay, here I go. Can we do it another day? See you later. We are gonna head out and dust. It is Monday night. I wasn't able to dust last night because I was having some issues with my tractor, but hopefully that's all fixed. I also am using my GoPro right now. This is the first time I have used my GoPro in a couple of years. So I hope that it works and that I don't lose all of this footage. All right, first things first, we gotta load up 15 bags of dust into the back of my truck. All loaded up and ready. I was just about to take off, but there's a pretty rainbow up there. It's not raining right now, but it must be something going on up there. All right, let's go. All right, I never took my GoPro mount out of my tractor, so that's kind of nice. It was just ready and I, I have one on the back. Um, I guess I just always knew, well, I guess I just always wondered if I'd be back at it. So that's kind of nice. I got my GoPro mount. We're going to go. It is 745. So I did not dust last night, which was Sunday night. Typically I dust Sunday night in the perfect world. I finish on Sunday, but lately I've been pretty tired. So it's been more like half on Sunday, half on Monday. It is Monday night. So I really, really need to get this done. See how it goes. Another thing that got fixed today was my fuel gauge. So I don't have to be worried in the middle of the night like it's broken. Hello, this is what I get to see while I'm driving. <laughs> see if it works, I hope. All right, we are ready to rock and roll.
is 10 p.m. and I'm a little over halfway. I need to refill the duster. I might need fuel, but I really want to finish. I'm not feeling that tired, so I feel like I could finish. I just don't really want to fuel up in the dark, so we'll see where I get. <laughs> to finish all right it is 10 20 it takes about two hours so maybe about 12 30 i'll be finished fingers crossed it is 11 55 and i am done i finished everything so i'll catch you guys later